Shai Lin and I sew. In this video, you're going to see me upcycle a denim jacket with fabric scraps. I got this denim jacket from the thrift store, and then I had extra fabric scraps laying around from making my husband's bow ties and other projects that I've had in the past. But I just used two pieces of fabric that I really liked and mashed them together. So let's get started. This is what the jacket looked like before. It's just a regular denim jacket with some faux leather detailing at the front pockets that were peeling off. So the first thing I did was measure out how much fusible interfacing I needed so I can iron that onto the back middle panel of the jacket so I could stabilize it while I wove into the fabric. Next, I found the center of the back panel and marked it, and then I marked a line a half an inch away from it all the way across the panel. That way, when I cut into the back panel, I would have little strips of denim that is half an inch apart. Then I took the two pieces of fabric that I had that I wanted to weave into the denim and I cut little strips that are half an inch wide. Now for the fun part, the weaving. So I'm going to show you guys in a couple different ways in this video. I'm going to have it sped up right here just because there's so much weaving. But I'm also going to have a little picture on the side so you can see how it looks like as you go along. So the first thing that you do is you need to start weaving from one side to the other at a diagonal. And since you have two different directions that you're going to weave, you're going to need to weave one over and then two underneath. And then you're gonna go one over and two underneath until you get all the way across. And then for the next row, you're going to repeat the same exact thing except you're going to shift everything to the side. And you're gonna keep weaving all the way until you get to the bottom and all the way to the top of your jacket. Once you do that, you're going to weave the same exact way except the opposite direction. So if you were weaving to the right down, then you're going to weave to the right up diagonally. And you're going to weave the same exact way by weaving over once and then under two times and then over again and then under two times until you're finished with the end of your row and you're going to shift it again to the side when you start a whole new row. And I wove all the way up and down until I was completely done weaving the panel. I removed the lines that show the weaving that's underneath the fabric, so it's all cleaned up here. But basically, what you can see here is what you should end up with. So once the weaving's done, I sewed around the outline of the panel on my sewing machine to keep all of the loose ends down on the edges so it doesn't pull out. So if you guys thought that the weaving portion was repetitive, this part of the sewing is just as repetitive. You're going to sew across all of the parts where you wove diagonally both directions. So you're going to sew every single row and then when you're done with that part of the weaving you're going to turn your panel and you're going to sew the other direction all the way down.
Once the back panel is sewn together, I wanted to work on the front pockets. So I started by seam ripping the faux leather that was peeling off and took that off and then I also removed all the little bedazzled portions of the pockets. So I decided it would look really cool if I did the exact same thing on the pockets as I did on the back. So what I did here is I cut out the little strips on the pockets a half inch apart like I did on the back. But instead of cutting it out all the way down the whole pocket, I only did the part where the original design was. So I'm going to weave into that portion. It's not going to cover the whole pocket. It's only going to cover the part of the design that I took off. So since I can't stitch down the weave like I did on the back without losing functionality or removing the pocket as a whole, I decided to use fusible interfacing on the back of the weave to hold it down and then I used top stitching thread that was very similar to the denim top stitching and I sewed the pockets down so it has at least the edges sewed down and then I just trimmed off the edges here. I hope you guys like this video. This jacket is actually on my website as part of my Hip Hip Remade collection, which is basically a collection of things that I've made from vintage fabric, scraps, or upcycling like this jacket. If you have any questions about how to weave your own jacket, feel free to leave a comment down below, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel.